Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the Sofa Sound Part 1. Now, Part 2, are you ready? Man, I don't feel like doing this. Found it. Intercooler's got to come off. See that right there? Crack all the way along the weld on the end tank. Again. You notice when you put air pressure on it, you can hear it. Wow, that's major. There's the hole. No intercooler. Well, I got some parts back. There's no more hole in the intercooler. I'm gonna get back to polishing so I can throw this thing back on the car. Enjoy. All right. Well, the intercooler's back. Check it out. My friend Chad welded it back together and I put a fresh bling on it. Yay. So now, She's going to be back to normal and holding all her boost in. At least the intercooler will be. There's something new on this pipe. Yeah, that's right. My French had also machined an aluminum nipple for me. I got a hundred jokes for this. Let me give you a little tour because it's not very often I have my front bumper off. Uh, what I got Basically, my car still has ABS. It's full weight. I haven't taken anything electrical out except for the fog lights to make room for the intercooler. And uh, there's my oil cooler. That's a Cetrab unit purchased off of eBay from the end of a NASCAR race. Every single time they go to a new track, they set the car up differently and sell off their old parts. You don't really know what you get with these, but I cleaned it out real good and I have faith in it. It's been on there for 35,000 miles without any problems. But uh, there it is. And you can see where I relocated my horn. Uh, it just seemed like the best spot. I uh, looked all over the place and I wanted to hide it behind the bumper and help out of the way. Yeah, it's quieter, but oh well, I got two of them. So, anyway, there it is back on the car. This is before I blow it up again. That's it right there. Yay. That's where we welded it back together. And it's a great thick bead. I think that'll be nice and solid. And uh, there's the other horn. When you're putting your bumper back together, you want to make sure you screw these lights back in. When you take it off, you also want to make sure you unscrew it or else you could cause electrical damage. We're about to have a tool failure.
Looks like it's coming out the tool. Yep. Well, I got another boost leak tester. We can try to use that one instead. And uh, if I had some time, I'd mess with this. Otherwise, I'm going to keep rolling. I hear leaks. There's a few ways to find these. Remember the soapy water from the uh, head gasket check video? One way you can find leaks is to spray things down, like for instance, the injector seals. You see bubbles blowing out? There's a the leak. You spray stuff down with the soapy water. And like I suspected, I've got an injector seal leak there. Got a little one there. Got one there. Looks like that one's all right. Nope, not all right. Also, you can spray down the intake manifold gasket and see if you have any leaks on that. And I don't, but those injector seals are pretty bad. Also, check any other components you have that have vacuum. Oh, looks like we got a leak there. Which I can fix that by honking that down a little tighter. No leaks there. No leaks on the back side. Check your throttle body. No leaks. Oh, looks like I got something there on the back. See if that's the hose. Nope, it appears to be the actual. Appears to be the actual gasket on that elbow. It's all good. I have a large wooden thing in my engine bay right now. I forgot to take that out. The camera was sitting on it earlier. Thanks, man. thing to check. J pipe flange. That's a common place for leaks. No leaks. So that's how it's done. Also check your intercooler, but I already know that that one's fine because I've tested it with it off the car. I think we're done. I know where my leaks are.